Hey, what's up, guys? Um, it's BTWM Diffusing with another video about some of the new ghost stuff. And yet again, it's from charlieintel.com. I'm telling you this charlieintel.com, a lot of people don't know about it, and a bunch of you big YouTubers use it for all their info. Because trust me, they a bunch of them they don't go, you know, take their time to, and ask developers and shit like that unless they went, you know, maybe to like PAX East or you know conventions and stuff like that and they meet the developers they they always go here or other places and this is one of the really um solid sources um for games big games like you know call of duty mostly but we're gonna go over to call of duty ghost weapon list i don't know if you guys seen this um see it says it's a work in progress last updated 8 24 um so october 24th so there's probably been quite a few changes since that but we're gonna go ahead and go through them real quick this is assault rifles the honey badger fully automatic integrated sil silencer allows for more attachments but lower range well that's different there's an integrated silencer you know which means it's gonna come with down on it automatically which I think is pretty cool um, I'll probably be using that a lot that looks like a real um, mobile mobile gun um, now let's go down to the SC um, dash 2010 fully automatic redesigned barrel provides longer range range with reduced recoil for higher accuracy well why don't we do this I'm not gonna read off every one of these descriptions I'll just go through them and I'll name them and I'll stop for a second and then I'll move on just so you guys can read it if you want to so let's go down the R5 RGP oh my god also referred to as Remington R5. Okay, let's go down to the SA805. Well, there's no description for that. Ooh, the F, the FAD. Oh my God, I love this gun in MW3. I'm so glad it's back. It's so OP, or at least in MW3 it was for me. Um, yeah. Uh, MSBS. It's kind of hard to see this stuff because the vid or the pictures they took were kind of blurry, but I hope you guys can see it good enough. But um, let's go down RX one sixty. Um, AK twelve unlocked at private level zero, so it looks like that's going to be a starting assault rifle. Um, my overall thoughts on the assault rifles: most of them look pretty beefy. You know they're kind of bulky like this and you know the fad they look kind of bulky you know this and this and just in general and then now let's go to SMG submachine guns ooh this is a really good look on the vector it looks like they just kind of oh my gosh I'm so sorry guys I still have not found out how to stop that but um from from that popping up but here let's get on the vector CRB it looks like they just made it shorter pretty much and made it look more um, detailed. The MTAR X looks like it's kind of missing a part here almost kind of. See it looks like all these guns they just kind of make it more look more look more rugged and detailed. Um, K7 that looks like a really small gun. And that looks like almost it might be one of the ones that has an integrated um, silencer like that honey badger. And this one too, maybe. I can't tell if that's a silencer. I think it is. But CBJMS. The Bizon looks like it has an integrated grenade launcher if they even have that. Um, and the Vepper. Vipper. That almost looks like an assault rifle. But let's go to LMGs. M27 IAR. The Melee, a Melee, and the LSAT, and Chainsaw. That sounds like a really interesting gun, and it looks interesting, even though the thing's kind of blurry. Guess we'll find out. Now let's go to Marksman Rifles. Are there different type of rifles? I guess there are. Um, MK14. It, it, you know, it just sounds like it's the MK14, but with a scope. Um... MR I'm so sorry guys um, MR28 
Single shot, lowest recoil and range, blah, blah, blah. IA2 or LA2. I don't know if that's a lowercase. I mean, or, yeah, lowercase L. SVU Dragunov. Now, that looks like just has a huge-ass scope on it. Now, yeah, there is different snipers. That's Well, these aren't snipers, apparently. They're marksman rifles. Excuse me. Um, sniper rifles. The L115 looks like the, um, what was it, L1116 or something like that in MW3. I don't remember. Um, something like that. The USR. Uh, the Lynx and the VKS and this looks like it has an integrated oh, I'm sorry that looks like it has an integrated um, silencer on it the VKS and this one looks like I think this is the one I saw a bunch of youtubers using the snipe and quickscope so the, even though they say there's not really gonna be quickscope in ghost um, that looks like the one you would use and let's go to shotguns MTS 255 Give you a second to read that. The Bulldog, also referred to as Maul. Now let's go to Riot Shield. Swap for Riot Shield Radar. What? Well, that's not really a good thing, but let's go to handguns. P226. Read through that quick. Um, M9A1. MP433. And 44 Magnum. That's a blurry picture. Let's go to launchers. Um, I don't know if you guys will be able to read that, but MK32. It's and it's not my recording software. It's blurry because the picture that they took. The Castet. That looks like um. What's the word? What, what was that? It looks like that one. Um, was it in MW3 or Black Ops 2? I don't remember. Also looks like the one that's in Battlefield 4. Um, Panzer Faust. Yeah, I guess it looks like one. You know, you shoot down a Panzer or shoot or blow up a Panzer. I'm sorry, I said that wrong. And that's it, guys. Uh, if I went a little fast, I'm sorry. I just don't want to make this a super long, long video. But um, yeah, that was all the weapons so far. And you gotta remember, if some of these changed, um, don't be mad at me. It said last update it was eight. You know, October twenty fourth. So I'd like to thank Charlie Intel once again, and I don't think there's a source on this one. I think I don't know if they just released this to him, but whatever. But thank you very much, and have a nice day, guys.